Welcome back to another Folio Society book overview. It's been a while since we've uh, done one of these, and uh, I got a few more books from the Folio Society, so why don't we just jump right in? As you can tell by some of the footage here, we're looking at Albert Camus, The Outsider, uh, from the Folio Society. A nice text coming in with uh, 120 pages, set in Adobe Garamond, uh, with uh, six color illustrations. Book's not that large, uh, nine and a half inches by six and a quarter. As you can tell, the nice brown front papers here. Very simple, no design or anything like that. Simple text, uh, beautiful font, and uh, it's actually translated by uh, Joseph Laredo. So you can see the beautiful illustrations here. Um, uh, the design was by Matthew Richardson. Um, and of course, the Folio Society is always coming with the acid-free neutral paper. So the artwork is actually quite nice, uh, a little bit abstract. Um, we even have some of the, as you can tell here, the text itself, very crisp, clean. The paper has that acid-free feeling there, The usually the higher quality stock. Um, for most of you who don't know, The Outsider is Albert Camus' existentialist um, novel here, or short story, depends on how you look at it. Uh, he was an existentialist philosopher. This is actually one of my favorite uh, texts. It's essentially uh, about the character Merceau, uh, meaning the sea and the sun, um, and his... Uh, journey against the absurd, uh, search for meaning in a meaningless world. So it's usually a, a novel that uh, is read in Europe uh, by adolescents, a coming-of-age novel that they usually read. An absolutely beautiful text. I've read it quite a few times in other volumes and other translations, but uh, when I saw that Folio Society had it, I had to uh, just pick one up. So that's about it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this little quick uh, overview of this Folio Society text. And as always, if uh, you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And of course, keep on reading. I hope you enjoyed this video. To see more great content like this, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and a comment down below. Of course, remember to subscribe to keep up to date with the Leather Library's newest videos. Also, please make sure you visit the Leather Library blog for more in-depth articles on philosophy, literature, and the finer things in life. As always, keep on reading.